show you how to play Jolene by Dolly Parton on the bass. I'm going to show you how to play it um, as if the guitar player is not playing with the capo. So the version of this is not going to be compatible with the audio track. Uh, I will go through at the end of the video and show you where to put your fingers to play with the audio, audio track just so you know and you can learn the pattern that way if it helps. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to start on the third string down, the D string, on the seventh fret. So that's three dots up. One, two, three. So put your middle finger there and you're going to go, you're going to hit on the lean. So when she says Jolene, Jolene. So practice that movement from the, with your middle finger there, from the seventh fret of the D string, the third string down, to the fifth fret of the G string, the last string. So it, it looks, it's going to be shaped like this. You don't have to stretch your fingers though. You can keep it like that and then kind of, but it's easier if you kind of hover your fingers around where they're supposed to be so your hands don't get lost. So Jolene, Jolene, and then we're going to move our middle finger up to the last string, the G string, ha ha ha, on the seventh fret. Right, so you're making a little triangle there, and now we're going to close the triangle and bring our middle finger back down to the, the seventh fret of the D string. So that's the first two bars. So Jolene, 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 Jolene. Right? So nice and slow. five. Now the seven on the G. Now close the triangle with your middle finger. So that's the first two bars. That's half the song right there. Now we're going to go um, to the fifth fret of the D string. So that's the third string down, like right where we just were. Um, put your first finger there. And strum that, and we're doing our little bouncy country thing here. So we're going to go to the fifth, we start on the fifth fret of the D string, and then we go up, like up a string, down in pitch, but up a string to the fifth fret of the A string. Then we bounce it back, then back. So that happens. So you hit the note twice on each string, just alternate. So let's do it together nice and slow with your first finger here. Alright, so one, back, down, back, up, back, down. And then after that, it's going to go to the seventh fret of the D string again, where we started. And then to the 5th fret of the D string. And then the 7th fret of the D string. So that's your run there. So all together, I'm going to go through the whole phrase really slowly. And um, I'll, I'll, I'll start to speed it up. So. 1, 2, ready, go. And now a little bit faster. One, two, ready, go. And 
let's do it at that speed again. One, two, ready, go. you will. Now if you wanted to add in the Joe you can do little walk-ups um, and if you want to do that just reference your tab there. So that's it. That's the whole song. Um, and if you have any questions feel free to email me. Now um, the if you want to play along with the song and this is what we covered in class because we played along with the track we were um, doing the same pattern but we were up higher on the next so we were on the fourth fret between the dots fourth fret of the A string to the second fret of the D string to the fourth fourth fret of the D string to the closing our triangle there, back to the four on the A, and then bouncing on the two. Four, two, four. But it's the same pattern, it's just in a different place in the neck. And that's because we're not using capos, so our music, um, our song's gonna be lower in pitch, so it's easier to sing. All right, thanks, enjoy. Jolene, 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 Jolene. Just because you can